as the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a golden hue over the bustling food festival. The air was thick with anticipation. The aroma of roasted garlic and fresh herbs mingled with the laughter of festival goers. Yet beneath the surface, a tension simmered. Saffron Sinclair, a food blogger turned amateur detective, stood near the main stage, her heart racing. She was about to confront Basil Beckett, a renowned chef whose jealousy had become a palpable threat. Saffron adjusted her colorful apron, a stark contrast to the crisp whites worn by the chefs around her. She had gathered her evidence. A torn recipe, a mysterious spice jar, and hidden camera footage. Each piece was a thread in the tapestry of deceit surrounding Time Thompson's murder. The festival was alive with energy, but Saffron's focus was razor sharp. She was determined to unravel the mystery before the final course was served. Saffron called out to Basil, her voice steady despite the fluttering in her stomach. He turned, his tall frame casting a long shadow over the festival grounds. The crowd buzzed around them, but Saffron's focus was unyielding. You were the last to see time alive. What really happened that night? She asked, her voice cutting through the ambient noise. Basil's jaw tightened, his piercing gaze meeting hers. He glanced around, ensuring no one was eavesdropping. You think you know everything, don't you? But you're just a food blogger playing detective, he retorted. Saffron stepped closer, lowering her voice to a whisper. I know about the rivalry, the reviews that could make or break you. Time was a threat to your reputation. For a moment, she saw a flicker of fear in his eyes. The stakes were higher than ever, and Saffron was determined to expose the truth hidden behind the culinary facade. Just then, a commotion erupted nearby, drawing their attention away from the tense confrontation. Saffron seized the moment, her instincts kicking in. She knew she had to expose the truth before the festival ended, before the final course was served. The energy of the festival was palpable, yet Saffron's mind was solely on the investigation. The secrets hidden within the culinary world were vast, and she was determined to uncover them all. As the festival goers continued to enjoy the evening, Saffron's resolve only strengthened. She was not just a food blogger. She was a detective in her own right, and she would not rest until justice was served. Stay tuned to Storyteller for the resolution of this gripping case.